Good morning. Good morning, family. Happy Monday. I hope all of you rested well. And those of you that said you're starting your day, your work week on today. Oh, as we prepare to get up and get up out of here. What time is it? It's 4 a.m. As we prepare to get up and get our work week started, I just want to wish you well. I pray that your day is blessed with favor, love, joy, peace, and prosperity all throughout the day. I pray that you keep your eyes fixed on what Solomon said in Proverbs 4. Let your gaze be fixed straight ahead of you. Don't turn to the right. Don't turn to the left. Keep your eyes fixed on all that God has in front of you. And keep yourself covered in the word of God. Pray the word of God over yourself. Like Paul said, put on the whole armor of God. And don't allow your, yourself to be, don't allow anyone to bait you or manipulate you into sharing information about yourself with them. You know, um, keep your eyes focused on what is directly ahead of you. You that say that you're enduring spiritual warfare on your jobs and you know, in different situations like that. Don't allow anyone to beat you in the conflict. Don't allow anyone to get you out of character. You take authority. Arrest all those spirits that you can identify by name. Call them out and you pray and bind them up before you step foot into your office. Yeah, you bind them up before you step foot into your office. You ask God to let your patience and resilience supersede all attacks of the enemy. You're just learning, you know, you're learning how to engage overcome and defeat your spiritual adversaries for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities you know and you that say you're transferring you're starting different new jobs new opportunities keep yourself guarded guard your heart out of it flows the issues of life and don't give so much don't be you know giving all giving people information about yourself because you need to sit you need to settle you know you're not going to work to make friends you know, you go there to get your bags and then you go on about your business and then you use some opportunities to take you to the next level of opportunities. You use some jobs to help you start the business, that fund the business ideas that God has given you, right? But you don't go giving information about yourself and don't allow people to bait you into that and manipulate you into giving information about yourself. You know, sometimes people will get you wrong intentionally or say things or label you, mislabel you. They want to say things about you, about your character to, in order to get you to defending yourself and say, no, I'm not like this or no, I'm not, I'm, I'm this or I'm that. Don't be baited. Be very wise, you know, ask God to strengthen your ability, your discernment. You know, to move in the spirit wherever you go to and from. You're not going to work to make friends, you know. So you stay focused on what's in, in your lane. Stay focused ahead of you, you know. <laughs> what was that, Proverbs 4 and, was it Proverbs 4 and 26 or 25, 27? Just keep your eyes focused on what's straight ahead of you, you know. And so it's going to be a very productive day, right? We've already commanded our morning, you got to believe it. Just walk in. Choose to walk in joy. Choose to walk in peace. Choose to walk in love. While the world is full of hate, there's so much animosity going on in the world. Sometimes you're going to have folk that will try to break your focus. Sometimes you're going to have folk who their spirit just don't agree with yours. You're going to have folk that come and try to oppose you and they disagree with you out the blue. Folk who don't even know you sometimes just expect that that's life with so many different human beings in this earth but you stay in your little lane <laughs> you stay in your little lane and you keep tunnel vision on what you got going on ahead of you that's the only way you're gonna make progress if you stay focused you must stay focused when we allow things to get into here and break our focus you may have several different people trying to attack you at one time it's all to get into here and pull your continents down but when you learn how to stay in that word of God, let that feed your soul, pray over yourself and keep moving, stay focused, block out all that doesn't serve you, all negativity. What I said in a few videos back, we're in fall season, so it's clear to see what doesn't serve you will fall away. What doesn't feed your spirit, it'll fall away from you, you know, and so you just keep moving, stay positive, stay focused on what's ahead of you, guard your heart. And you're going to always succeed. You're going to always win. Keep God first. Keep his word in your heart. Always study the word of God. There's, God's judgment has already hit this earth. The judgment of God has already hit the earth. And it's been here. Things have been happening by and by. By and by. 
But think it not strange as we enter sometimes and even in these seasons that we enter that you're going to hear an increase, an increase of more calamities, more wars, more rumors of wars. The word of God will be fulfilled, but the hand of God is with his people. The hand of God is with his people. And God sits high. He looks low. He hears every secret conversation. There's nothing we can do to hide from God. He sees everything. He sees our hearts, our actions, our deeds. He sees what we do in secret when there is no one looking at us. You see, we can get before men and pretend to be one way. But God sees what we do in our secret time. And he honors us based on the life we live, the time we spend with him, the obedience that we walk in, you see. And so God is also going to favor. He's going to pour out his favor and blessings upon his people. You're going to see the hand of God move. And I've said this many times before. While the world is going down, you're going to see God's people lifted up. God is always going to be with his people. He said, I'll never leave you, nor forsake you. But you got to stay guarded, people of God. Don't let the wrong people get close to you. And as some folks seeing God is increasing you, increasing in your life, elevating you, you will have all type of folk they sent to slow you down. Not everybody, but you got to take time and test folks' spirit. And just because somebody seemed real kind to you, or they seem like this is, you know, this person is, you know, they seem like they just as solid as can be. Time will reveal all things. I don't want you to be paranoid, but I want you to move in the spirit. Study folk. See, take time and study folk. Somebody can seem solid to you, but over time, that person's heart can turn. You need to test them on every level. Are they solid while you ain't got nothing? Are they solid because they feel like you, because you are beneath them? What about when you begin to increase? Will they still pour into you? Or will they turn and try to break your spirit and knock you back down? Will they still encourage you when, when they see you increasing? Right? If they were pouring into you while you was down and beneath them, as you rise, all that they poured into you, they should be happy to see you elevating. They should be happy to see you grow stronger, walk in confidence, not feel so defeated, not be stepped on, not being a people pleaser anymore. They should be happy to see you elevate, but it takes time. Sometimes your elevation will activate something in folk that wasn't there before. And all it is, is it means that you have time to cut ties and you just move on. That's all. So things need to be tested and time reveals all things. All right. So that's just my little two cents. That's just my little two cents. Ain't no pressure. Take it or leave it, baby. Keep growing in the right direction. And I pray that you have a wonderful, prosperous, productive, marvelous day that is filled with joy in the name of Jesus. And remember, we are the light of the world and we can never let our lights grow dark. We got to keep shining bright. And we know that the blood of Jesus is the only blood that has power. If nobody told you that they loved you this morning on this big Monday morning, then you already know your little country bunking sister loves you. It's only one of you in this whole wide world. There is greatness on the inside of you. Nobody knows you better than you. Go and walk out your life. Live your life. Tell your story. Walk in the glory of God. In Jesus' name.